I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like to yo what is up guys surgical Cold goblin here and welcome to this new episode as you can see i'm back at home again i just got back yesterday from one week to spain first one weekend in barcelona and after that one week in malaga i also participated in a cup which was the nuvola cup i actually managed to win that one as you guys can see some sort of a plate there which says number one surgical goblin i put it over there with my other achievements so that was definitely really cool i had a really good um yeah time in spain awesome experience meeting new people etc but in today's video i will cover this 2.9 minor control deck which i've been using a lot lately just because i think it's really solid versus the meta in this meta you see a lot of golem beatdown decks with giant and just i think this deck is just really solid overall i would say it can have a hard time versus graveyard but then still you can definitely beat graveyard players as well um for example this deck i used in the nevola cup beating some graveyard decks the the one with the splash yard i think it's just a really solid deck so i will play this deck in the grand challenge i will share some tips i will share um yes some don'ts because sometimes you should not commit too much elixir just because you always want to have a solid um yeah defense ready because with with this deck you can't really lose the tower and then make one big push and come back like a golem or something it's all about good trades uh, looks like this guy's using lava hound so we have the execution already i will just drop it in the back um let's see if he commits anything I think I will send a miner with skeletons on the right side, forcing him to spend to that. If he doesn't address those skeletons, it will deal some ton. It will deal a ton of damage. Looks like he actually has a lumberjack as well. Uh, we dropped the knight, which is a bit too late. Looks like oh wow, it was. Uh, it will not kill the executioner, so that's really good for us. Uh, look at two bats and the executioner. He has an executioner as well, so uh, interesting deck by him. I'll drop an ice spirit on the right side to distract the ice wizard. And to uh, kill it. And then I will lock the left side. Hoping that it doesn't get one hit. Or maybe uh, only one hit. Let's see. No hit. So that's really good for us. And we have some solid chip damage to the right side. I think I will just send in another miner. Just because we don't want to leak elixir. And we can uh, keep the pressure up. So he has a goblin gang as well. So far really uh, strange deck by him. But I guess it's working for him. I'll drop the ice spirit on top of the, the uh, spirit goblins. Just so we don't want to take any damage at all. And uh, looks like he's switching lanes. So we have the Night Witch on the right side. His Lava Hound will, uh, will tank for the pops. But the Night Witch is a, a ground unit. So if he doesn't address it, there you go. He drops the Lumberjack. I think the Lumberjack will go down. And we have the Executioner right now. He actually has an Inferno Dragon as well. So let's drop Skeletons to distract right here. And once the Lava Hound is about to pop, I will actually drop the Tornado. Clumping it all together and uh, the Lava Pops will die. His Inferno Dragon will get splashed. I will drop an Ice Spirit as well just because I want the Executioner to live and get more value. As you can see, it will go on the Ice Wizard right now. Let's see if he drops anything or just 1v1. I think the Executioner should be able to win that pretty easy. There you go. The Ice Wizard goes down. So I will support this with the Night Witch followed up by a Miner. He actually drops the Executioner. Um... And I know he has a Goblin Gang as well. So I decided to poison in this situation. Just because the Miner was tanking. I think it's a, it's a pretty good poison. His ex Executioner went down. I will drop an Executioner um, for his Lava Hound. Then I will have my Night Witch ready. There you go. He drops his Lumberjack. So I will drop my Night Witch on top of it. And I have my Tornado ready just in case we need it. Let's actually send in a Miner again to chip away. Doesn't look like we need the Tornado on defense. Just because we have some pops over there. We have the Executioner and it's just a really solid counter first to Lava Hound. Looks like the tower will be down. I will drop another Executioner in the back. And I think this is GG. As I said, our defense is just so solid. He can't do anything. It's a strange uh, deck choice by him. Just because in this meta, you have a lot of Executioner Tornadoes. So I would say Lava Hound is not the best anymore. Maybe you wanted to surprise. But let's see. Uh, second tower goes down. He gave up. So let's give him the good game. Well played and thumbs up. So there you go. First win. I think I will do three more life battles depending on how long um, how long the games take. Um, we might go into overtime or something like that. But let's see. So I'm searching for a new battle. Hopefully we are able to um, to face Graveyard. Just because then I can show how you should play first that. Nova Martin. Let's give him a thumbs up and a good luck. <laughs> He's laughing. I'm not sure why. I don't know this guy. I think I've, I've seen him before but I'm not sure. He starts off with a giant in the back, preparing for a push. I will just drop an executioner in the back, preparing for defense. And let's see what he does. So he keeps having the thumbs up. I'm not sure why. Let's see if he has a giant graveyard or 
just graveyard beat down but i will drop my night witch i'll have my tornado yeah i will definitely tornado this hitting his executioner his night witch and his giant hopefully his mega main is able to die so our night witch will stay alive there you go he poisons his defense and he's definitely giant beat down giant cycle beat down maybe with the miner maybe with something else one bed is alive and wow this is some solid damage guys i will lock his skeletons i will lock his night witch as well looks like his um his night witch the bats got killed by the tower i think the tower should be able to finish all these bats maybe one hit let's see yeah one hit so that's totally fine look at the damage we dealt that's insane i don't know why he's he's bming or using his emote so often but i think our defense should be able to kill his um let's see what he has he does have a poison so i don't want to give him too much poison value uh let's see if he has a miner or something he does have a miner so i will try to protect my executioner he drops a poison as well so hopefully we are able to kill that as soon as possible the night witch dps is insane i would say the night witch is op just because it can offer so much value in defense as you can see we barely took any damage he spent a lot of elixir there and the miner should be able to he zapped as well so look at the bets one bet is connected two bets or i think we got two bets hits which is still uh around 100 plus damage i'm not sure how much one bet does but it definitely deals some chip damage and this deck is all about chipping this deck is all about defending and uh, so far we're doing a good job we're in overtime right now or right now i mean uh so double elixir let's see if he's able to make a big push this time uh, I think I will poison in defense and I will tornado into the poison. Maybe a bit, um, yeah, a lot of elixir over there. But I just want to make sure his giant doesn't get to the tower, especially the night witch as well. Uh, looks like they won't get to the tower. And I think the miner will bring it into, yeah, poison lock range. So the right side tower is into poison uh, lock range right now. He will go with a giant and a mega minion on the right side. You will have a, a miner over there as well. I can just tornado this. I'll, I will poison defense just to be sure. I don't want to risk it as I said. Uh, I will just lock the giant as well. I don't want to take any damage. Just to, um, just to be sure. The giant does get one hit. Uh, he didn't predict our miner. So right now it's in uh, poison range. 10 seconds left. I think I can just cycle to poison. Let's see. Yeah, I will just poison right now. 8 seconds left. I will lock as well and I just want to make sure his uh, skeletons don't connect and that should be GG. One second left and the tower. Oh, wow, it was actually pretty close at the end. Maybe I should have uh, tornadoed as well. Definitely good game. Well played and thumbs up. I would say this is a 50-50 matchup just because he's able to get some uh, valuable poison or some uh, yeah valuable poisons on offense for him for me in defense like when i'm defending he can get some good poisons and the miner to either take out my executioner or to chip away so i would definitely say it's an um, about even matchup maybe a bit uh, favorable favorable for me but i still think it was a really good game so let's hop into another one and let's give him the thumbs up and the good luck and let's see what this guy is using as i said i hope to face graveyard just because i can show you some tips um also with this miner deck you want to make sure you place your miner over here, especially uh, when you think they have a uh, tornado. Uh, let's see, he goes with a P.E.K.K.A. I don't really have anything else. Uh, sometimes you do get a bit of an awkward cycle, not really. But for example there, I had to send in my miner. Um, well, I maybe wanted to drop my executioner in the back, but I had the three spells in my uh, hand with the miner. So I was kind of forced to drop them. He actually tries to go other lane while really aggressive with a Night Witch. Um, or with the Electro Wizard and the Battle Ram. I can drop my Night Witch and a Tornado. I drop Skeletons, an Ice Spirit and the Executioner on the right side. Should be able to finish off the P.E.K.K.A. Hopefully the, uh, there you go, the P.E.K.K.A. dies. So we still have the Executioner on the field on the right side. And let's see what he has for that. I don't think he has P.E.K.K.A. in Cycle again. So while well, he actually decides to take this damage, maybe... Oh wow, he actually goes with... Um, interesting deck by him. Two Musketeers with the P.E.K.K.A. I think I would just uh, drop the Night Witch on the right side. Should be able to finish off those. Well, actually, I will drop it on the on the left lane. He dropped the heal as well. So he has uh, Pekka, two Musketeers, heal with the Battle Ram and the Electro Wizard. So I think he has a really, really expensive deck. He has a lock as well. Um, we actually deal some solid damage to the left side. So we will be switching lanes right now or actually going into the same lane. And he just used his lock as well. So I will send in a Miner. Backed up with skeletons, forcing him to defend the skeletons or take some damage. Look at the skeletons. He actually drops his Electro Wizard. And uh, right now, I will tornado it towards the middle, force or allowing the Electro Wizard. Uh, it's it's really close to the, uh, the King Tower right now, so that activates the King Tower. So right now, we'll have an advantage. We can pull things towards the middle over here where the Ice Spirit is at. 
uh, just so the King Tower can help defend that. So I think it's a really good, um, it's worth it that trade, even though he did do some damage on the left side. I will poison right now and I want to make sure the, the Musketeers die really quick. So I locked as well, knowing that he has a heal spell. I just wanted to make sure he, he couldn't get some um, heal spell value. I will drop a Night Witch, I will drop an Ice Spirit. Uh, and a miner, send in the miner. Looks like the miner is chipping away. He dropped the skeletons a bit too late. And I think the bat should be able to deal some solid damage to his P.E.K.K.A. I will poison defense just because I know he has the Electro Wizard. He will be dropping some other stuff as well. Let's look just to make sure he doesn't heal. He actually does heal, but the Electro Wizard died. And I think that is a waste of a heal. Knowing that he has two muskies, he will probably be placing them soon. I will send in a miner and a poison towards the middle. He drops his P.E.K.K.A. Prediction P.E.K.K.A. I'm not sure if he wanted to predict uh, my miner, but he did catch my miner. So well played on his part. And I just used my poison. So we should be aware of... Um, of three muskies now i'll drop skeletons to distract the night which actually did die but the uh, the spawning bats still do a good job at taking out the pekka let's drop an ice spirit to tank and freeze the the, um, the electro wizard and i still want to poison towards the middle knowing that he has two muskies there you go we catch one of them and two um on the right side right now it's all about cycling and I'll drop a Night Witch on the, um, on the right side. I'll drop Skeleton as well. I'll cycle right now. Uh, one lock or one minor uh, poison while we are a bit laggy. Hopefully, um, yeah, it, it actually he didn't catch the minor and the lock. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that we didn't disconnect it in that, um, in that situation. Because that would have been uh, a pity if we lost that game. Just because of the Wi-Fi. Looks like we're all good right now. And three wins with this deck so far. Really interesting deck by him. Definitely really expensive as well. Let's see what the average elixir costs. Oh, he doesn't have it on his profile. I would say it's uh, it's a really expensive deck, but let's see. I'll do one more live battle. The video is 11 minutes long right now, so we can definitely do one more live battle. And let's see what we face. So, so far we faced a lot of um, versatile decks, a lot of different decks. So maybe something like Beatdown uh, or Graveyard right now. He starts off with um, Archers. That could be the Graveyard deck. That could be Expo deck. Or maybe something um, yeah, unique which you haven't seen before. Looks like a unique deck with the P.E.K.K.A as well. But I think I will be pressuring the other lane with the Night Witch. Taking out that one Archer. And then going into a counter push with the Miner. And the Ice Spirit backing it up. Uh, he has a Baby Dragon as well. Maybe a P.E.K.K.A Graveyard. Uh, wow, really interesting deck by him so far. I'm kind of forced to drop my Executioner towards this lane. And then I will be tornadoing it all together. Knowing that he will... Um, have a strong push on the on the right side knowing that he has troops on the right side as well i think this is a really good tornado killing his pekka and the extra and the night which i mean he's definitely up an elixir so right now we need to be calm we need to uh, make good trades in defense otherwise we will lose this game just because as i said in the beginning you ha you need to have solid defense you need to know when you should not overcommit. and right now i spent a lot of elixir i did deal a lot of damage on the right side as well but I just need to note that I should not commit too much elixir right now. I will let the baby dragon uh, lock on. Hopefully, yeah, there you go. Baby dragon is locked on. Um, I will, I'm kind of forced to drop my executioner in this situation. Because I just used my skeletons, etc. And on the right side, I think the bats and the night witch should deal some damage to the P.E.K.K.A. And I have another night witch ready for defense. So let's send the night witch right now. Just because I know it will spawn bats. So... The more bats in defense, the better, the faster the P.E.K.K.A. dies. So as you can see, four bats on defense and an Ice Spirit was enough to take it out. And we now have a counter push. This time I will send in a Miner to tank to chip away. And once the, the Night Witch dies, as you can see, the bats, one, uh, two bats are actually locked on while the Miner is tanking. I really like to do that just because it sometimes surprises my opponent. Uh, they don't expect it to be alive. And I think, oh, he actually does a prediction. Well played by him. But we dropped the execution as well. Just because, oh, wow, he has a lightning as well. He spent a lot of elixir, but we should be able to um, to defend that. There you go. He's, wow, he has a lock, a lightning, um, and a zap. And the tower will go down on the right side, I think. Let's see if the miner, it actually does. Oh, wow. Um, I misclicked a little bit. The poison was a little bit off, but we should be fine. Anyways, he goes again with a prediction, but the ice spirit was in time. Let's see if he actually goes with a lightning again, but we do need to uh, watch out on the right side. I will lock the barbarian, and it's actually really close. I don't think... Um, actually, I think a lock, a zap, and a lightning would do enough, but I think he doesn't have the elixir for it, and I, we could always lightning block right here with uh, the night witch as well. 
But it's GG anyways, the time ran out, he didn't have enough time to get and the lightning and the lock and the zap. So a good game, well played and thumbs up for this guy. Um, pretty interesting deck by him, he definitely does some solid damage to both lanes. So I'm not sure how expensive this deck de uh, is. This deck, yeah, 4.0 elixir, also um, uh, yeah, pretty expensive decks. I don't really like to play with expensive decks at all. I think this deck is perfect, as in cycle, you're able to cycle quick, you have a solid defense, and you're able to punish collectors or whatever, golem, you can always uh, push just with a night witch and a miner, it's actually a really solid push, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, feel free to test out this deck, uh, I really hope you guys could learn from this episode as well, if you did learn from this episode, please smack that like button, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, and I hope to see you in all of my next videos, bye!